Are you spending time on social media for a Catholic organization, but you're not seeing the fruits of your labor? If you want three quick tips on how to improve your social media uh, visibility, exposure, and um, overall impact, stay right here and I'm going to let you know what I see Catholic organizations doing wrong and how to quickly and easily fix those mistakes. Hi, I'm Amy Brooks. I am the owner of CatholicsOnline.net and I run a group on Facebook known as Catholic Social Media Influencers where many of us Catholics who are running ministries, blogs, are small business owners or motivational speakers come together and share and educate um, each other on social media. So the first mistake you might be making as a Catholic organization using Facebook or Instagram is creating a graphic that is just simply way too noisy. What do I mean by that? I mean, you have a lot to say. You have a great event coming up and you want everyone to know where it is, when it is, who's gonna be there, what are they gonna talk about? And you try to put this all on one graphic. Please do not do that. The more information that's on one graphic, if, if it's loud and noisy, I can tell you simply as a viewer, as a consumer, I will scroll past those noisy, gra those noisy graphics so fast. You wanna keep your graphics simple. If you have an event coming up on Friday at 11, just simply say this event, Friday at 11. They can click on your page, click to get more information. And you want them to do that because that will tell the algorithm that you are offering something that's keeping people on the platform. The second thing is maybe you're, you have a great graphic. Your graphic is simple, but you're attaching a link to it. And the reason why this is a bad idea is because of algorithms again. Facebook, Instagram, social media platforms want to keep people on the platform. So if you attach a link, you're inviting people to walk away from the platform and to go to another place online. That's gonna get buried because obviously Facebook, social media platforms, Instagram, whichever platform you're using, wants to keep people on the platform. So take the link away and you know you you should have a call to action so you can get more conversation under that graphic and eventually someone will ask where can i learn more that's when you give them the link third many catholic organizations are trying to do this alone most secular bloggers entrepreneurs know the power of community and use that great resource of other entrepreneurs other ministry leaders, other authors. So a lot of Catholics don't belong to a group that is supportive and educative and informative. Many um, do belong to a group, but it's not a good group or they don't participate in the group. It could be a great group, but they don't participate in it. You need a community. You need a community that will support you, a community that understands your vision, understands your faith, and a community that also understands social media and understands marketing. I run a community like that, and I invite you, if you are a Catholic who wants to open a pro-life center or already runs a pregnancy resource center or is trying to help broken families or you're simply a blogger that wants to share your faith with the world. No matter what you're doing on social media, if it's based on our Catholic religion and it's to share the gospel, I invite you to check our link below and to fill out the application and to join our community. Our community is extremely supportive, very active. We help each other, we share each other's posts, we pin each other's pins, but we also share our knowledge and we pray. We're a very prayerful community. So I want you to consider joining Catholics Online, or if you already belong to Catholics Online, to take a couple minutes this week, maybe 10 minutes, to engage more in the group. Because the more you nourish those relationships, the better off, you know, you'll get more out of your relationships if you nourish your relationship. And the same, you know, whether it's a marriage, a mother-child, or a business relationship, you need to nourish them. 
So please hit subscribe if you felt that this was helpful. Comment below if you have any questions at all. I'd be happy to answer them. And have a wonderful day. God bless you.